Here's another patch idea video looking at ideas for patches in general with my modular synth, but this could also easily apply to other formats beyond the Yoro rack that I've got, and it's really easily implemented in software as well. Here I look at audio rate delays, and audio rate delay lines are the basis of K plus strong synthesis, which if you like this video that's something you should be looking into. So I'm going to take the output from Braids into my echo font, so you can hear the input, here's the dry mix, it's just a clock noise sound from Braids with no modulation. Here's some faster delay settings, getting towards audio rate. Here's a square wave into the tempo of the echo font, and this is an audio rate running from an IntelliGel Dixie oscillator. Depending on the oscillator frequency, we get different audio rate clock speeds into the echo font's delay. As we start messing with the pitch shifting on the echo form, we start to generate some cool sounds. I've got a sequence running which is in my skiff which is just off the camera and this has been quantized and I'm going to take that into the echo form's pitch shift. So this is now an audio rate and we've got the pitch modulation coming from the quantized sequence. Here's the pitch sequence attenuated and then playing with the clock rate. And as well on the echo phone we've got onboard clock divisions. Here's some pitch shift again. Taking the output from the echo font and going into the ripples filter from mutable instruments, I'm going to use a two pole low pass to process the sound. I'll just fine tune the clock rate and the sequence here. Taking some modulation, which is going to be triggered from the clock that's moving the pitch sequence, moving the echo phone. I'm going to take this clock into the WMD envelope and then taking that into the ripples filter, some simple but effective filter modulation. So I'll mess around with the clock rate again. And remember the input to the echo form was just a clock noise sound from Braids which is static, there's no modulation or pitch actually moving going into the audio input of the echo form. And we can also add some audio rate modulation to the ripples filter cut off using the same oscillator that's clocking the echo form. I'm just going to use a funk at 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 for some simple passive attenuation before going into the ripples. So now moving the Dixie oscillator, providing the audio rate clock for del the delay, it also affects the audio rate modulation of the filter cutoff and the echo phone. And one last time, here's the original sound again, not moving, no modulation and no pitch changes. So I hope this patch idea has been useful and gives you some ideas yourself. As always, hit like and subscribe below for more videos coming every week.